Have a good day. On this video, you will learn on how to divide polynomials. Okay, so let us first discuss on how we divide a monomial by a monomial. So when we say monomial, meaning that is an algebraic expression or a polynomial with one term. So let us first have this example, 25x raised to 5y squared z cubed divided by 5xy z squared. So to copy, or for our solution, we will now have here, 25 x raised to 5 y squared z cubed divided by 5 x y z squared. So we are to divide the numerical coefficients and then we will apply here the law of exponent. So the numerical coefficients are 25 and 5. So 25 divides 5 will give us. Okay, next we have to apply here the uh, quotient law of exponent by the, these three variables from the given polynomials or um, expression. We have here x raised to 5 divided by x. And then applying here the law of exponent or the quotient law of exponent, this is the first case wherein the numerator or the exponent of the numerator is greater than the exponent of our numerator. So that's why we will just simply subtract x raised to 5 minus the exponent of this denominator is 1. So therefore, that will become x raised to 4 or 5 x raised to 4. Okay, next we have to simplify y squared by or divided by y. So same thing or same case with this one. This is case number one for the quotient law of exponent. So you copy the base, subtract the exponent, 2 minus 1. Again, it has an imaginary exponent 1. So that's why you have here y raised to 1. So again, kapag po 1 na yan, so we can write this as y. Okay. Then the last variable we have here, z cubed all over or divided by z squared. So, the same case, number one, quotient law of exponent. Copy the base, subtract the exponent, 3 minus 2 will give us z raised to 1. Or simply, we can write this as the variable alone. We don't need to show or we don't need to write its exponent, which is 1. Okay, so you have here c. So, therefore, this is our answer or uh, this is our quotient. And dividing 25x uh, raised to 5y squared z cubed by 5xy z squared. Okay, so our quotient is 5x raised to 4y and, uh, y z. Okay, that is on how we divide a monomial by a monomial. Okay, so let us now divide a polynomial naman po by a monomial. Meaning, a term with more than three terms divided by a term or a polynomial with one term. So, example, 4x raised to 8 plus 6x raised to 6 minus 2x raised to 4 minus 10x squared divided by 2x cubed. So, as our solution, we can rewrite this as um, 4x raised to 8 plus 6x raised to 6 minus 2x raised to 4, minus 10x squared, all over, meaning you have to divide all of this term by 2x squared, okay? For you to easily divide, okay, we can rewrite this so that you can see that you are to multiply each term from your polynomial to the given monomial. So you have here 4x raised to 8, divides 2x squared plus 6x raised to 6 all over 2x squared minus 2x raised to 4 divided by 2x squared then minus 10x squared divided by 2x squared. Okay, so as you can see, we are now here multiplying a, po a monomial by a monomial. So, let us uh, focus on the first term. Ito po. 
So you have to divide the numerical coefficient. So we have here 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. Then x raised to 8 divided by x squared. So applying the quotient law of exponent. So since um, the exponent of, a, of the numerator is greater than the exponent of the denominator. So let us copy the base and just simply subtract the exponents. And that is equal to x raised to 6. So that's why you have here 2x raised to 6 as the quotient of the first term. Okay. Next we have here um, 6 divided by 2. And that is equal to 3. So positive 3. And then x raised to 6 divided by x squared. So same rule po. We, then let us copy the base. Okay, subtract the exponent. And that is equal to x raised to 4. That is the quotient of our second term. For the last, uh, third term, okay. Okay, for the third term, ito po. Si negative 2x raised to 4 divided by 2x squared. So, ito naman. So, you have here. Negative 2 divides positive 2 will give us negative 1. So you have here negative 1. Then x raised to 4 divided by x raised to 2. So you have here x raised to 4 minus 2. So paulit-ulit lang po tayo. Ho. So you have here x raised to 2 or x squared. Then for the last term of your polynomial, we have here negative 10x squared divided by positive 2x squared. So, divide the numerical coefficient, negative 10, by positive 2, that is negative 5. So, you have here negative 5. So, x squared divides x squared. As you can see, they have here the same number or uh, exponent. So, x, 2 minus 2, that is equal to x raised to Zero. So, just like of what we discussed last time about the law of exponent, any number that is raised to zero, that is equal to one. So, therefore, this is equal to one or five times one. Okay? So, to simplify as our final answer, we can conclude that it is, or the quotient is, 2x raised to 6 plus 3x raised to 4. Okay, you have here your numerical coefficient, which is 1. So, you don't need to write 1. You can write here negative x squared. The negative 5 times 1 is equal to negative 5. So, this will be the final answer or this will be the quotient of this polynomial that is divided by a monomial. Okay, so I hope na naintindihan po on how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Okay, so the last thing of on how to divide a polynomial is a dividing a polynomial by a polynomial. So if we will encounter this kind of expression to be divided, so you have to follow this step or procedures. So first step, you have to arrange both the dividend and the divisor in descending or ascending powers of common variables, leaving a space or replacing the missing term with zero. So the first step that you have to make sure is that both the expressions or both the polynomials are arranged in um, order of their common variables. And we have to leave space or we can replace the missing term with zero. Next step, we have to divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. So, if you are going to divide a polynomial by a polynomial, we don't need or it is not, um, uh, what do you call this? It's, it is not necessary to divide each term uh, or all the terms by the given uh, polynomials or by the given number of terms that we have. So, we have to divide only the first term of the dividend with the first term of our divisor so that we will get the first term of our quotient. Okay, So we always divide only the first term of the dividend with the first term of our divisor. Tandaan po ho. Next, we have to multiply the entire divisor by term if the quotient 
of the quotient, rather, and write the product under the dividend of similar terms, okay? So, after dividing, we will multiply the entire divisor by the term of the quotient, and we will write the product under the dividend of similar terms. So, we have to make sure that if we are going to write the product, we will align this with, this, uh, with its similar term. Next, we have to subtract similar terms applying the rule in subtracting polynomials. Again, eh, before we apply uh, or we have the subtraction of polynomials, we have to first apply the keep change change method. Okay. Next, we have to bring down the unused terms of our dividend. And then, we will divide the first term of the difference by the first term of the divisor para naman po makuha natin yung second term of our quotient. Then, the last step, we will have to repeat steps number 3 to step number 6 until the result of our subtraction is 0 or the degree of the term of the difference is less than the degree of the divisor. Okay, so here are the steps or the procedures or on how we can multiply a polynomial by a polynomial. Now, let's have the example. Let us divide 15n squared minus 2n minus 24 by 3n minus 4. So, let us rewrite our expression. So, you have here um, 15, uh, sorry, we have to rewrite on this space. 15n squared minus 2n minus 24, okay, divided by 3n minus 4, okay? So, this will be our solution. Again, we have to uh, divide only the first term of our dividend by the first term of our divisor. So, meaning, we will just simply divide 15n squared by 3n. Okay, so let us write here. 15n squared divides 3n. Okay, let us divide the numerical coefficient. 15 divides 3 will give us 5. Okay, then you have to apply here the quotient law of exponent. So you have here n raised to 2 minus 1, and that is equal to 5. n raised to 1 or 5n. So you have to rewrite 5n dito po sa tapat ng kanya pong similar term. So, you have to write here 5n. Okay? Then, the next step is we have to multiply the entire divisor. Ito po, yung 3n minus 4 by 5n. Okay? And we have to write this on each term. Okay? So, ito po yung sunod natin gagawin. We have to multiply 5n by 3n minus 4. So, if you are going to multiply this, we will apply here the distributive property. Tama? So, 5n times 3n. So, you have here 15n squared. Oh, bakit po naging 15n squared? So, 5 times 3 is 15. You copy the base, simply add the exponent. That's why it becomes 2. Okay? Next, we have 5n times negative 4. So, you have to multiply the numerical coefficient. So, you have here negative 20n. Okay? So, sorry, hindi na po nakita. Medyo i-rewrite po natin yung ating sagot. So, you have here 15n squared minus 20n. So, you have to write here and make sure na naka-align po siya with that similar term. So, you have here 15 n squared minus 20 n. Then, we will apply here the rule on how we subtract polynomials. Okay? Whenever or before we subtract the polynomials, we have to subtract, diba? Okay? So, we have to make sure that we apply here the KCC method. We keep the minimum, change the operation to addition, Change the sign of our subtrahend. So, from positive 15, this will now become negative 15. This one, from negative 20n, this will now become positive 20n. Then, proceed po tayo in adding 
our um, polynomial. So, positive 15 plus negative 15. So, 0 na po siya automatic. This will be cancelled out. Okay? Next, we have here negative 2 plus positive 20. So, rewrite natin dito ha. Negative 2 plus positive 20. Para makita ninyo po. So, nag-a-add tayo. Magkaiba po ng sign. Ima minus. So, magiging 18. Copyhin yung sign ng mas malaking number. So, that is positive 18n. Okay? Next, we have to bring down the unused terms of our dividend. And that is negative 24. So, we have to divide the first term ng ating pong difference, which is 18n, by the first term of our divisor, which is 3n. So, therefore, you can have this solution as 18n divides 3n. Okay? So, you have your 18 divides 3. Dividing the numerical coefficient will give us 6. So, as you can see, that is n. Dito natin ilagay. Divides n. So, pareho pong ang exponent nila ay 1. So, n raised to 1 minus 1 is equal to n raised to 0. Again, any number that is raised to 0 is now equal to 1. So, therefore, 6 times 1 or that will be equal to 6 or positive 6. So, you have to write here positive 6. Then, you will repeat from uh, step number 3. We will multiply the entire divisor of a term of our quotient and we will write the product under the dividend of similar terms. So, therefore, ang multiply naman po natin yung 6 by 3n minus 4. Again, we will apply here the distributive property. So, we have here 6 times 3n. This will now become 18n. Then, 6 times negative 4. That is equal to negative 20. Four. So, we will write here, positive 18n minus 24. Then, we will subtract. So, before we subtract polynomials, make sure that we will apply here the KCC method or the keep change change method. Keep the sign of the minuend, change the sign of the operation, then change the sign of our subtrahend. So, positive 18 plus, okay, sorry, we have to change as well the sign of the first term of our subtrahend. So, positive 18 plus negative 18n. So, 0 na po siya. Pwede pong cancel out na po. Then, we have here negative 24 plus positive 24 and that is equal to 0. So, again, as our last step, if the result of our subtraction is 0, then that will be our Quotient. So, the quotient of dividing 15n squared plus 2n minus 24 by 3n minus 4 is 5n plus 6. Okay? Now, for you to check, okay, kayo na po yung gagawa nito ha, to check if we got the correct answer, we have to multiply the quotient by our, um, 5n plus 6. So, di-divide po natin siya by 3n minus 4. So, this will be your uh, assignment po. Ho. You have to check 5n, if our answer is correct, by multiplying 5n plus 6 by 3n minus 4. Para po malaman if our answer is correct or if our quotient is correct, kailangan po ang maging product ay 15n squared minus 2n minus 24. Okay? So, I hope you try you try it to, to check if we got the correct answer. That is on how we multiply a polynomial by a polynomial. Okay? Another example, we divide here. 6x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 by x minus 2. Okay, so we have 2 or as our solution, we can rewrite this as, so 6x cubed, so lagyan natin ng counting space. So you have here 6x cubed 
minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3. So we are to divide this by x minus 2. Again, we will just simply divide the first term of our dividend by the first term of our divisor. Okay? So 6x cubed, ito po, divided by x. So you have here 6 divides 1 will give us 6. So x cubed minus 1. Okay? Quotient law, ma minus po ang exponent. So that's why you have here 6x squared. So, you have to write 6x squared sa tapat po kung saan po siya kapareho. So, you have here positive 6x squared. Okay? And then, we are now to multiply 6x squared to uh, each term of our um, divisor. So, you are to multiply. So, therefore, we have here 6x squared multiplied it by x minus 2. Again, ang apply po natin dito is the distributive property. So, 6x squared times x. So, you have here 6x cubed. Okay? Then, 6x squared times negative 2. We have here negative 12x squared. So, you have to write this product dito po sa tapat ng kanya pong similar term. We have here 6x cubed minus 12x squared. Okay? Then, we have to subtract. Applying the law or applying subtracting of polynomials, we keep the sign of our minuend, we change the operation, and then we change the sign of our subtrahend. Okay? So, keep, change. So, kung yan ay positive, magiging negative. Ito pong negative, magiging positive. So, positive 6 plus negative 6x cubed. So, cancel out na po. And then, negative 3 plus positive 12 will give us positive 9. So, you have here 9x squared. Okay? Then, we have to bring down the unused uh, term from our dividend. Then, repeat po tayo. Or, we have to divide the first, the difference of the first term by our divisor. Okay? To get the second term of our quotient. So, um, we have here 9x cubed, ah, sorry, 9x squared divided by x, okay? 9 divides 1 will give us 9. So, 9x squared minus 1 will give us 9x raised to 1 or simply 9x. So, you have to write here positive 9x. Then, we will repeat the process from step number 3 to step number 6. We are now to multiply our quotient dito po sa ating pong divisor which is x minus 2. So, you have now here 9x. Okay. So, you have your 9x multiplied it by x minus 2. So, we have to distribute this term to each term inside the quantity. So, 9 times x will give us 9x squared. Okay. So, copy 9 or 9 times 1 is 9. Add exponent, copy the base, add exponent, that's why it becomes 9x squared. Then, by negative 2, so that is negative 18x. So, you have to write here, positive 9x squared minus 18x. So, you have now to subtract and then, we will now apply here the rule on how we subtract here. Uh, polynomials. So, but before that, apply here the KCC method. We have to keep the sign of our minuend, change the sign of our subtrahend. So, from positive, magiging negative. From negative, magiging positive. Again, positive 9 plus negative 9, nag-a-add, mag-iba ng sign, yung minus, kaya po ito ay cancel out na yung term na yon. Next, we have here positive 2 plus Okay, so positive 2 plus positive 18. So that's why we have here 20. So you have here positive 20x. Okay, tandaan, meron pa po tayong isang unused term from our dividend. That's why we have to bring it down. So 20x plus 3. Again, the same or we will repeat the process. 
So, we are to just simply divide the first term of our difference by the first term of our divisor. So, therefore, um, 20x or 20x divided by x, ito po, 20x divided by x, so 20 divides 1 will give us 20. So, x divides x, so meron po silang exponent na 1, 1, so you have your x, 1 minus 1 is equal to x raised to 0. Any number that is raised to 0, that is equal to 1. So, 20 times 1 will give us 20. So, you have here positive 20. So, the same thing po. For the third time, we are to multiply this by our divisor. Sa buo po, ho? So, you have here. Okay, we don't have here any space. So, erase natin to. To write our answer. Para makita ninyo. So, you have here 20. Multiplied it by x minus 2. So, you have to distribute 20 to each term inside the quantity. So, you have here 20x, 20 times x, and then 20 times negative 2 is equal to pa, uh, negative 40. So, you have here 20x minus 40. So, subtract po natin. Yan, pasensya na kung papunta kung pasaan yan. So, we have to again apply KCC here. So, you have here, keep the sign of the minuend. Change the sign of, of the subtrahend of, or uh, the operation first before the subtrahend. Positive magiging negative, positive magiging, a uh, negative magiging positive. So, cancel out na po ito. Positive 20 plus negative 20 is 0. Then, positive 3 plus positive 40, that is positive 43. So, as you can see, magkakaroon tayo ng remainder. Since we don't have here any term that we have to bring down, so therefore, okay, kalang po, erase tayo ng part na to. As our final answer, we can say that the quotient of dividing 6x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 by x minus 2 is 6x squared plus 9x plus 20 plus 43 all over the divisor, which is x minus 2. So, this will be our final answer. Okay po? Bakit po nag-stop na tayo? Again, this will serve as our remainder. Okay? Since hindi na po natin madedivide si 43, and it has a less, uh, mas mababa na yung degree nito kaysa dito sa ating pong divisor. So, that's why this will serve as our remainder. And to write as our final answer, hindi po yun kagaya ng whole number na meron kayo susulat yan, remainder 43. So, you have to write this uh, ng ganito po, or kagaya po yan. So, 6x squared plus 9x plus 20 plus 43 all over our divisor, which is x minus Two. Okay, so that is on how we divide polynomials. So, I already showed to you the different cases or the different situation or on how we can divide polynomials. So, that's all on this video. So, thank you for listening and thank you for watching this video. I hope na nakatulong po ako sa inyo to learn how to divide polynomials. So, thank you!